fear the circle of I starts spreading. What you call mind, mind comes in this circle. And then you have attachment towards this mind, mind, mind. And tremendous amount of attachment towards this mind, mind, mind. Oh, this my watch, wonderful watch, such a valuable watch. One of the students brought from the foreign countries and, and uh, offered me wonderful watch, such a valuable watch. Out of my carelessness, one day it falls down and breaks. And I start crying. Oh, this valuable watch. It got broken now. And I don't get even spare parts in my country. How to get it repaired? Crying, crying, crying. A watch of the same model, of the same value, on the wrist of my friend. And it falls down. And it breaks. I don't cry. <laughs> I don't cry at all. On the other hand, I start giving sermons. My friend, you should have been very careful. <laughs> this type of watch not available in our country. You can't get even spare parts to repair it. I don't cry. Why? Same watch of the same model, of the same value, but I don't cry. Nobody cries for the breakage of a valuable watch. Nobody cries. One cries for the breakage of my watch. My watch is broken. Oh, my watch is broken. This mind, mind, and tremendous amount of attachment towards this mind, mind. Whether this mind, the so-called mind, is worth a few dollars or a few million dollars, makes no difference. How much attachment is there? That much misery is bound to come. The deeper the attachment, the deeper the misery. The stronger the attachment, the stronger the misery. This is law of nature. 